Hello? What's going on? Mm hmm. Can we enter there? Oh, what? What? Oh well. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, to start with, we need to work out exactly what's going on here. If it's true that the terrorists are working with the Noble Faction, then it seems likely their aim is to eliminate the evidence of whatever they've been hiding in the first factory. But did they really have to go this far? The Iron Mine is owned by His Majesty the Emperor himself, right? That's right. The province of Nortia is tasked with managing it while Reinford mines, refines, and processes the iron. Nortia. And okay. iron is the single most vital natural resource to this nation's continued survival. If this isn't resolved quickly, it's going to deal a heavy blow to the entire country, including the nobles themselves. So I guess the question is just whether the noble faction and the terrorists realize that or not. Mm -hmm. Sounds to me like they're a pretty divided bunch as it is. Yep. The terrorists seem like they're basically all commoners too. They're only cooperating because they both see the Chancellor as a common enemy. And if that's the case, it seems pretty likely that what they're doing here is related to that somehow. Sounds like someone started the party without me. Sarah? Oh, Angelica. All right. Angelica? You came too, George? Yo, hmm. figured you'd show up eventually. Well, we had to test the sidecar, obviously. This bike is just full of surprises. You made the trip to Ruhr in seven hours. Whoa. So speed-wise, we're looking great. Comfort, though, we're going to have to tweak a few things. Hmm. I swear, you two never change. Kind of figured Toho wouldn't be able to make it, too. Yeah, she's working on gathering a boatload of information, though. She said she'd be in touch if she finds anything out. Well, <laughs> that's reassuring, at least. Um, could someone <laughs> tell me what's going on? You seem to be hot on the trail of something, but I'm not sure it's the same thing we're investigating. Does this have something to do with those family affairs you told me you were worried about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. I had some nagging suspicions about it. Unfortunately, my hunch turned out to be right on the money. Hold on. Isn't the director of the first factory... My dear Uncle Heidel Rogner, yeah. Seems like it might do us both some good to swap info. How about it? Now let's find a better place to talk. Can we trust Angelica, though? She seems cool and, uh... They're dumping iron onto the black market? Okay. Yeah. The amount of steel they're producing doesn't quite match up with the amount of iron ore being mined. That's been the case for quite a few years now. Officially, the reason given is that the purity of the ore being mined is lower now than it used to be. Mm -hmm. But if you look at what's coming out of the mine, there's no evidence of that. Well... That would explain why the figures don't add up. And because they were feeding the raw iron onto the black market rather than the finished steel, 
That makes it a lot harder to notice when a little goes missing here and there. Man, Toa put all the pieces together on her own? Oh, damn! Toa's amazing! I'd expect no less from my beloved Toa. Hmm. <laughs> she poured over everything. Reinford's yearly sales figures, government reports of the mine's productivity, you name it. That's how she picked up on the discrepancy. Jesus Christ, she's so talented. She's really something else. Yep. Iron ore being sold off the black market, accounting sheets that don't add up. George, mm -hmm. how much iron ore is unaccounted for, roughly speaking? Do you know? Assuming for a moment that all the missing iron was refined into steel, how much steel would we be looking at? Hmm. This is just a bit of speculative math on my part, but I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 torum, which is enough to build 2,000 oxen tanks. 2,000? Jesus Christ. That's practically an army. The Saxon iron mine is a pillar of the Empire's economy. The amount of iron they pull out of there is almost ridiculous. Even if you pocket a small amount every year, it's going to add up to a lot of iron real quick. Mm -hmm. But what are they planning to do with all of it? Is the noble faction trying to make their own tanks in secret? They couldn't even if they wanted to. Only the second factory has the knowledge and equipment to make tanks. And not only does the second factory have close ties with the Imperial Army, it also leans toward the reformist faction. You need all kinds of complicated technology to make even a basic tank. Okay, so what? what's this? What's the iron for? It's not as simple as just grabbing some steel, some blueprints, and some grease and getting to work. So mm -hmm. what does that leave them? Selling the iron to another country for profit? I don't know how likely that is. Seems like deals that big would be too easy to trace. Okay, so setting aside the ore itself for a moment, now that you know this, and given what's happening in Ruhr right now, what were the two of you planning on doing? Oh. It's pretty simple. My uncle oversees the first factory, and the provincial army is blockading the mine. There's no way my family isn't involved. Mm -hmm. On the other side, you've got all the miners just trying to do their jobs who got dragged into this whole mess. Oh yeah, she worked at the mine, so she I think she cares about the miners. I'm a Rogner. I might not be a great daughter, but there's no way I'm gonna let this go on without putting up a fight. Angie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're seriously gonna go talk to your old man about this? <laughs> Hell no. Like he'd even listen to a word I said. Same goes for the Provincial Army. I'd just be wasting my breath. So let's just break some faces. That's like why that. I'm planning on sorting out this mess myself. Yeah. I used to work part-time in the mine. I know the place like the back of my hand. As long as I can find my way inside, I think I can handle the terrorists well enough. Or, you know, we could go along with you. Uh, I figured you'd hmm. say something like that. Honestly, does nothing faze you? In that case, I'd like to ask that you take us along. Uh, we can look at this as a test of how to best respond to a sudden crisis. Looking at it from that perspective, I think it fits neatly within the scope of our field study. Don't you? Yeah. Hmm. After hearing all that, I don't want to let them have their way. Agreed. I'm with Angelica here. My family's involved in this too. I feel like I have a duty to do something about it. Thanks. Truth be told, I was kind of hoping you'd back me up anyway. Hell yeah! Whatever help you can give, I'll take it. Heh. <laughs> well, that's that. The next thing we need to consider is how to slip into the mine without the provincial army taking notice. Mm hmm At the very least, Angie should be able to get the officer in charge to talk with her, but... So, what, we sneak inside while she's distracting them? I don't know. That sounds a little overly simplistic to work. Hell, give the plan to Crow. He thrives in simpli uh, he thrives on simplicity. All right. Leave finding our way in to me. If anyone's good at cutting red tape, it's my mother. Maybe she could help us out. If we can find her. She could. But would she? Yep. Well, if you think so. All right. I'll leave securing an alternate route to you then. For now, I'm going to see if I can find out anything else about my family's or the provincial army's involvement here. George, give Toa a call and see if you can find out what the Imperial government is doing about all this. Gotcha. I'll see if I can turn up any machinery that might be useful too. 
<laughs> all right. This is starting to feel like last year's field studies all over again. Hmm. All right. Okay, so we're talking to Chairman Irina. Hopefully she can help us out. Yep. Of course. Okay, let's save first. And then... Yeah, let's go to Reinford HQ. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Twenty third floor. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, where's the elevator? Ah, oh, there. All right. Oh. Um. Can we still deliver this? Yeah. Let's uh, let's just deliver this monster mission first. Before we head to Chairman Irina's office, I think this is the place. It's here. Here, yeah, there. All right. Yep. Yes, of course. Sepith Mass. Cool. So we're done there. Let's head back to HQ and head towards the 23rd floor. Yes, yes, not what? Yep, there's Sharon. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I knew it. <laughs> like the rising of the sun. I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? Hmm. <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford household. You, the chairman, and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in, then. Of course. Please follow me. Bring them in. As you wish. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. I apologize for canceling our dinner plans last night. Yeah, we don't care about that but anymore. But it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight either. We don't care about that either. No, that's fine. We understand. It's hardly surprising, given the current circumstances. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> mm -hmm. My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the Provincial Army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It mm -hmm. sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. That's it? The First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore onto the black market for years now. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Of course I've noticed. 
Mm -hmm. Being unable to bring the first factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Well... Whoa. There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine. And how to respond to that? This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's mm -hmm. got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is going to indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Damn! She has an answer for everything! Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. And I have mine as chairman. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose. And one might even say the same of the terrorists. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? Uh, I, um... Well... Mm -hmm. If you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow morning. Damn, she cold. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. But... Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? Mm-hmm. All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger. And all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I... And all of us, really, have to face that head on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Mm -hmm. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. As your daughter, as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. My lady. <laughs> <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you, though, that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Oh. <laughs> it's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. Mm -hmm. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. All right. Give it to her, Sharon. Certainly. The what? Here, my lady. Oh, okay. So I, I think this is the card key for the elevator in the Saxon mine. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. Oh. Wait. There's really a secret passage? The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. Mm -hmm. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Hmm, if we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the Provincial Army. All right. I'm not going to say thanks. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. 
and I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. If she wants to take the mantle of the Reinford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. What the hell? Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Certainly. I get the feeling we're trying to fight a chess battle here, but Chairman Irina is playing checkers. Huh. Rosetta arrow or judgment. Okay, it becomes the it becomes the judgment arrow. All right. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, we're continuing this. Hopefully, the game won't crash, and ho hopefully, OBS and the game won't crash anymore. there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Ruhr to the mine. Gwen really does think of everything. Hmm. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruhr. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, the best spots <laughs> in the entertainment <laughs> district, um, you know, the really important things in life. <laughs> <sighs> it's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can too easily. Hmm. I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master one day. <laughs> Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't deny that. And that's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. Hmm. So, you think this is gonna work? It better. Oh, they have laptops. All right. All right. That should do it. What's this? What is this thing? Yep. What's An that? Orbital wave antenna? Mm hmm. It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use your Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. Whoa. Okay. That sounds pretty handy. You can do that? Hmm. Yep. Toe is busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I think it's about time we got going. Yep. And... Thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Oh, we can use Angelica. Nice. Always room for one more with us. Hmm. Your knowledge of the mind will really be invaluable. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Hell yeah. Yep. So I think this is the replacement for... Where's Angelica? There. This is the replacement for the old schoolhouse. It seems that the old schoolhouse is no longer... No longer has any other floors. So let's uh, continue on. Oh, what's this? Check. Let's do this. Eat that! Enemy sighted! Take him out! My turn! Ha! 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Toe's been pretty worried about all of you, you know? <sighs> Glad to know she's looking out for us. Yeah, though I feel a little bad since we're making more work for her. Yeah, I think Toa thrives on more work. Go! Alright. We've been walking for ages. How far are we at this point? Judging by the distance we've traveled, I'd say we're about halfway. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you tell that? Mm -hmm. This path's gotten real twisty all of a sudden. Hmm. I wonder if they built it like that to avoid the mine shafts. If that's true, that must mean we're almost there. Fire! <laughs> Come on then. All right. Over there. Yep. Looks like we made it. Of course we did. So let's save first. That was a long trek. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got this. Mm -hmm. This is pure bliss. <laughs> Stop that, Angelica! Just kidding around. I love it when you're angry. Yeah, I me swear, too. this girl. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So I guess this is it. Let's see. First, let's kick some ILF ass. Oh. Pretty cool music. All right. Mm -hmm. Go. All right. Okay. Big chunk of the RMPs on the move, gathering in Ruhr and Ordis. Even in Ordis? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not worried about Group B. They have Laura. So, come on, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, there are Kazims here. What the hell is this music? I love it. Whoa. Oh. Alright. Looks like this place is crawling with Archaisms. Just like Aurelia. There's some monsters I didn't see when we were here yesterday, too. Mm -hmm. They must have brought them in from outside. Be careful. So what, are we heading outside here? Alright. I think this is where... Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Where? 
That way? Mm -hmm. Where are we going here? Alright, what's this? Ugh, we got bosses here. That's fine. Mm hmm. Bring it on. Hell yeah. Go. Hmm. Okay, let's just motivate first. All right, let's do this. Gotcha. All right. Burn to ash. Ha! That's the power of the okay. waves. Okay. Just took a while, but it was an easy battle. Oh, just four minutes? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I did it! Success! None of you are still level 60, what the hell? Alright. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yep, let's check it out. But first, we gotta save. So, nothing here, so let's continue on. Alright. Okay, so we managed to get in touch with the prisoners. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Uh, the chief. Yeah, I don't see the chief. Okay. Mm hmm. Maybe Angelica can escort them back. Alright. Oh, so... Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's tough enough. Hmm. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh man, crow, crow, crow. Damn, Crow! <laughs> mm -hmm. Shining beacon of selflessness. Hmm. Yep, gotta find the chief. <laughs> 